Good morning, modern steaders. The weather has finally warmed up here. Yesterday it was 80 degrees, and this morning it's already 60. I think the chickens really want to get into New York City. But that's all right. They're gonna have to hang out there for a little bit longer. I like using New York City for our chick brooder. It looks like we have one chick that didn't make it. Man, let's go get some gloves and a bag to put that in. Oh, that's not good. That was, that was a good sized chick too. It's never fun when you find a dead animal on the farm. Sometimes you just never know why. I don't know why that chick died. It looked pretty healthy. It's good size. But for some reason, I don't know if it got trampled in the corner, if they're all huddled up and something spooked them. They could have been in the corner and they could have got trampled on. I don't know, it's hard saying. It's one of those things, nobody likes it, but it, you need to expect it living on a farm, a homestead, whatever you want to call it. See how they keep trampling them? I'm assuming that's what happens. So not a fun thing to happen, but it does happen and you can't beat yourself up too bad about it. Come on. Now if you end up losing a lot of them, then you gotta see what's going on. But if it's a one or two here or there, it just happens. I like putting feed in their feed bucket and on the ground. This way it helps, encourages them, and it teaches them to start eating the grass and the bugs and the peck. And we've done that ever since we've had chickens and it's always worked out very well for us. They are loving the chicken tractor and they're doing great. This morning I need to build another $30 chicken coop. Olivia's not here to help me, but we'll be able to get it done. It might take me a little bit longer without her, but we'll get it done. We had a bunch of modern setters asking us in the last video for a cut list, and we have them on our website at lumnaacres.com. All right, a little interruption there, but you probably didn't realize it because I had the camera off. But I just got my Canon 7D back for the third time from Canon Factory Center for repairs. I sent it back once, came back, issue resolved, but with new issues, same thing last time. So fingers crossed, it's in better shape now. <sighs> We're gonna switch the memory card over and we're gonna finish the video on the 70D. for a few more hours, but you know what? It's starting to mist out already. Man.
This is when I'm really going to miss having my helper here. starting to feel like rain and it's clouded up pretty good. I hope we can finish putting the top on today. I hope I got enough wire. A three foot roll of chicken wire I have left over from some project. Maybe it's when I made the concrete countertop desk. Oh, good, we're gonna have plenty. We're so close, it just started to rain out. All we got left is to put the hinges on and put the locks on. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna put you inside and we'll be right back. So close. Yeah, I can be pretty stubborn sometimes. There's another $30 chicken tractor built. Tomorrow, we'll talk about why I'm switching over to this style chicken coop versus our hoop style chicken tractors that you can walk into. We'll talk about, we'll talk about that in tomorrow's video. Today's video, I bet you, is getting pretty darn long. I ran out of chicken wire on this one, so I had to make my sides too wide, and that's why they look that way. Well, the rain's coming down pretty good right now, so this is where we're gonna end today's video. The egg layer pullets are nice and dry in that chicken coop, so that makes me happy. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Bye.